Hello, today we're talking about the evidence for cohesion tension theory. There are a few points that we can say this is why we know that cohesion tension theory uh, does happen. The first thing is that a tree changes diameter of its trunk. This happens uh, throughout the day as the rate in transpiration changes. And so as transpiration happens more, when it's light, when it's hot, when it's dry, and when it's windy, then during the day, when these things are often the case, transpiration happens more, and the diameter of the tree decreases. At night time, when it's darker, cooler, and there is less light, then the diameter increases because transpiration slows down. This change in diameter happens because of the adhesion of these water molecules to the xylem walls. As the negative pressure pulls, the adhesion pulls on the xylem walls all around the tree trunk and narrows the diameter. It doesn't happen very much, but it does have an effect. The other thing that we can see is when a xylem vessel is broken in a tree, then two things happen, or while well, don't happen. Firstly, the tree can't draw up water. If this method was instead based on some sort of um, creating pressure rather than creating negative pressure and pulling, if it was a push mechanism, then when the xylem vessel was broken, we'd expect some water to leak out the tree. In the same way that if one of your blood vessels is broken, then blood leaks out of the blood vessel because of the pressure created by the heart. The second thing is that water is drawn in. So there becomes a bubble is formed there. Water is actually drawn into a plant if the xylem vessel is broken because of this negative pressure, because of the cohesion between the water molecules and the tension. Thanks for watching and see you next time about root pressure.